Well, well, well. Good morning, all you beautiful people. Yes, it is a good morning. I just woke up. I'm in a better mood than yesterday. I recorded this three times yesterday. I spent my whole yesterday recording this. And every single time, when I save, the file is corrupted. When I end the recording, file corrupted. So, this morning I did a complete up of my PC, I reinstalled some things, so hopefully this works today. So, what have we got in store today? Look at this dude, looks badass, bald headed guy, big nose, biker gear, looking at the sunset. What badass motherfucker! So, today we have got a surprise in store for you guys. Um, let's get into it. So, here we are, first of all. Um, one of the questions, this is going to take two minutes max, I think. One of the questions I got is, what is the best build for a builder? So, I'm just going to create a new character here quickly. Um, let's just go OG, just track. Okay, so my intelligence, I always put on five for a builder. Because you need advanced engineering and you need five intelligence for... Um, that as well as some awareness and some survival you need medium survival for your window barricades that you need to build so this is my build constitution because i need medium running and medium um, endurance otherwise i will lose my bloody mind um, so what we do here is max out engineering medium survival basic awareness up here i go medium and medium and then for the purpose of this video i'm just going to go melee so i can get on with the puppets much easier and we'll do driving because we are making a base video and i want to get a truck in the base without much frustration so this would be a good build for a base builder i would just swap out in a proper server melee with maybe rifles or handguns not archery very easy to level and it gives you a ton of fam early game so rifles or handguns with whichever you prefer and then dexterity skill you can choose whatever you want but your constitution and intelligence i would have exactly like this if you are the builder for your squad so let's get into the base all right so here we have it this is what we are going to be building today got a very nice church base it is at the kangaroo yes it is a kangaroo no i don't know what a kangaroo looks like no i've never seen a kangaroo we don't have them in south africa but it is c3 at this kangaroo it's a bloody kangaroo don't judge me anyways so this is what we will be building today it is a very nice church bunker base it takes minimum 34 c4s to get in here if you don't have 34 c4s at least you are not getting in here um you cannot lockpick rate this base it is 34 c4 or nothing so that is it you've got all the windows blocked off very nicely you've got some sniper walls because you've got high ground around you so you want to protect yourself from the snipers as you get in here you've got a lot of storage for less valuable stuff i guess as you get up here you have got your entrance to your base um, you build your little jump up, which is about that height, I hope. There we go. You get up here. Once you are up here, get into your base, and boom, you are in. And then inside, you have got more storage, more storage opportunity. You can have a bunch of stuff there. Got some nice peek throughs to defend your base should they decide to try and see for you and get in you can still defend from inside the base but this watchtower here you've got that watchtower there from here you can climb up <coughs> and you can lob nades in there because they're going to be coming through that through that door right there and lob nades from here you're going to lob nades from here in there come on up some nades in there as they are destroying those you can defend from the stairs i mean you guys know how a church base is how to defend it 
And then you have got obviously your tower, which endless opportunities. Um, yeah, this is what we will be building today. Please don't worry about that gap. I fucked up there. I explained that in the video. That gap will not be there in your build if you don't make the stupid mistake I made of not letting that barbed wire face the wrong way. And then as you leave or log off, you destroy this little platform and you are set. Nobody is getting into your base unless they are a very, very, very good parachute jumper and they can drop on there. But even if they do that, all you do is when you log off, you put a barricade up there and you are safe. They are not getting in here. If they don't go through that wall, they are not getting in here. Come to think of it. They need to destroy this platform as well. That's another three C4s. So that is 33, 34, 35, 36 C4s to get into your base. So yeah, let's get into it. So to start off this base, we want a... We want God mode. That, that's what we need first. So the first thing you want to do is you want to place a foundation. It's still early. Don't judge me, alright? I'm fucking tired still. Yeah, so what you want to do is you see this corner right here? This one with the hands on? That, that one right there? You want to walk off that corner. So you want to get your 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 platform facing northwestish you will see that you cannot get it completely flush because the building is skew so it's either going to be a bit that way or a bit that way so you want it to be a bit that way that that way to, towards the corner so you get the side of it flush with the corner and oh, i can't believe i'm going to say this you go in as deep as possible shut up fucking dirty assholes so right there right there <laughs> got the mind <laughs> okay so once you've got that so it, it can't go in any deeper yes i'm gonna just stick with that you just tap s you don't touch your mouse you just tap s four times one two three four that's it you adjust your height to the highest that it'll go and you fill it so what this does there's going to be a puppet in here let's just get ourselves a katana Right. Come on, Ben. Susan here as well? Nah, there's no Susan. Come on. Need it out of my building area, bro. Come here. Right. So, what we want to do once we are in here. You see that little corner right there? No. That little corner. So with that corner, you can clip one of these on. If it doesn't clip, just play around with it. If you cannot get it, then you tap your S one too, once too many. All right, so you place that there. Once you've placed that there, you will not be able to place one on this side. You will be able to place one on this side. So you place that one. And then you place that one. And then you place that one. And then you run out as quickly as you can, and you destroy this one. Okay, so we are back in here. So what you want to do now is you want to place your flag. Put your flag right about here. Wherever you want to place it. I don't really care where you place it. Place your flag somewhere on this platform. And then what you do is you place yourself some stairs. And then from there, you place yourself a watchtower. Oh, wow, well, my eyes are itching. Sorry. And then you place yourself a little watchtower. Wherever you can. Play around with it. I recommend using your wasp keys. Oh, excuse me, and not your mouse keys. Does work a bit better. There we go. There's your watchtower. And you build it, and then you do the same on this side. And 
you build it. <clears throat> um, and for this one, you're going to want to come here. You place your watchtower as, again, as deep as possible. Let's go deep. Pretend this is... I'm not even going to go there. Never mind. I'll shut up. Right there. There we go. Place that one. Right, so now what you want to do before you upgrade these. You do not upgrade them at this moment. So what you do right now is you place these little tables. Okay. I want to show you why you place these tables. Place it right there, exactly in the middle first. And then you put one next to it. Put another one next to it. Trust me, there's method to the madness. I'll skip forward. Right, you've placed your tables. So now what you do is you grab yourself some wardrobes. And you build your wardrobes on top of the tables. This is important for the build, so do it. And you start off wherever you can and try to get them on top like so. They need to be that high. Again, there's a reason. Use your wasp keys. It works a lot better. Right, so we have placed our tables and we have placed our wood ropes on top of the tables so this looks shit but there's a reason method to the madness so once you upgrade this right here you will not be able to kill yourself on your own spikes which is which is good so it serves that purpose it serves the purpose of storage it serves a purpose of some extra protection when you are defending and the tables are there so you can still defend your door so you've got your wardrobes but you can still defend your door through there and if they decide to come down you have still got that peak as well so that is why we do it this way and you've got quite a bit of storage um which is good so at this point you can go ahead and get this bad boy up here you will not be able to do full wardrobes in this church in some other churches you can because their roofs are a bit higher. But in this one, unfortunately, you cannot. Because, as you will see, it clips. So, but that's fine. So you have got your defensive structure there. Let's just do this one as well. Alright, so we've got that built right there. So from here, you can go ahead and upgrade your watchtower again. Let's get to that quick. And then get the top going. Come on. Okay, there you go. And here you also will not be able to place that. Okay, so you've got this now. So the next thing you need to do, this is important, so do not forget to do this. We are going to use this a bit later. So you want to place this door right about here, facing inwards. Don't upgrade it, just place a door there and a door frame. That's all you need to do. And on this side as well. We'll get to why you're doing this a bit later. So... Yeah. Right. So, once you've done this, you start fortifying your windows. Please, for the love of everything that is good and pure in this world, use advanced fortifications. Do not use medium fortifications. Do not use basic fortifications. Please use advanced fortifications. Well, I guess if you want to get naded inside your base on a continuous, you know, continuous, I don't know, my English sucks. But if you want to get naded, 
go ahead, use the others, but please <laughs> use the advanced fortifications. It is more expensive, it is a grind to get them done, but just do it. Just go find some car batteries, dismantle them, get the lead, and just do it. It is so worth it, just do it. Okay, so here you can choose. Remember, we're gonna we're gonna break down those eventually. So you can either choose to keep those open for a bit of defense, because from here you can shoot down into your courtyard. Well, not from there. You can shoot down, and that's going to be a courtyard. So you can choose to keep those open. Or you can choose to, to close them up. I'm going to close them up. Um, because I don't think you'll be using them. I personally wouldn't be using them. So you can close those up. And then there's one last little one. Let's get this one done. Right. Okay, so now that this is done. Basically the inside of your base is done what you want to do here after this is completely up to you i mean you can fit a small boatload of wardrobes in here um you can fit a bunch of beds in here up here you can fit more wardrobes i mean we fit in a bunch like so Come on. You get the idea. Like all the way up to here. And then on that side as well. And you can put a bunch here too. You, you can have a lot of wardrobes here. So. This is going to be the inside of your base. So what you want to do right now at this point. Is you want to come to the back of your base. Put all your important stuff in there. Build yourself a little shit shack. Because you are going to be staying in a shit shack for a few days. So just a spawn point and somewhere to drop loot. I mean you can build the shit shack as you want. But build yourself a little shit shack. Because for the next few days you will be staying in there. Why you may ask? Because it is right here that you start building the bunker. So, we are going to close off this door completely. So, first off, you want to do this. Those doors that you built, you want to open both of those. Oh, fucked up with this one. This one should be facing outside. I built it inside, didn't I? There we go. Alright. So, it clips through there and it clips through there. So why do we want this? Because you cannot build anything in here. But if you clip it to this wall right about here. And you drag it to a open door. Full clip. Get up there. There we go. There we go. So you flip this towards the front. And then this one. Go towards this wall. This door. And flip this towards the front. And this one you take from there. And you flip this towards the front. So what you've got now is you've got a little little bit of honeycomb in there. But that's not where it stops. So what you do, you build yourself a little sand barricade right there. Get that one done. That one done. And you get that one down. You get up here. And you start sealing off your base. So. 
So go this to the inside. Okay, so this is 3C4 because it's three rows of, of sand blocks. And then it is another 6C4 to get through that honeycomb walls. So that is 9C4 already. Okay, keep that in mind. 9C4 is already. Then once you've done this, you do block. Yes, obviously we are going to upgrade those walls inside. At a point, not right now. So what you do here is... Please lock them with gold locks and please use an advanced lock protection. Just grind for a little bit and get advanced lock protection. It is worth it. Just do it. So you destroy this. Alright, so what we do now is we are going to build a Troy wall in front of this door. So for those of you who don't know what the Troy wall is, it is a very small wall that doesn't require layers. That can withstand a shitload of C4. Um, if you do it the way I'm going to do it right now, it will withstand 24 C4s. Um, if you want to see where we tested that and explained it a bit, I'll link the video up in one of the corners. I don't know where it should be there right now. Please click on that video, watch that video, and then come back to this video and watch further. Um, if you don't want to do that and you haven't seen that video, take my word for it, it works. So what you want to do is you want to build a little 2 meter piece right about here. 2 meters, get it as close to the door as you can, face it inside. And then we are going to do a little zigzag. Alright, so now you've got your little... The little double pieces as I like to call them right there. Now from here you can go ahead and upgrade your little double pieces. Alright, we have upgraded our little double pieces. <clears throat> so the next thing you want to do is you do not want to upgrade that. We will upgrade that at a later stage. Otherwise, the barbed wire is going to mess with us. But what you do want to do is you want to place your last little piece right about here. As best as you can. Okay, so you place that as well without upgrading it. Maybe bring one in here, yeah, but don't really need to do. Let's leave that. All right. So as it is right now, when that rear wall and this front wall is upgraded, to get into this base will be a minimum, a absolute minimum, if you place your C4 perfectly as a radar of 34 C4s. To get into this base, you cannot lockpick raid it because there's no doors to lockpick raid. You can only get in via C4, and um, you're gonna need a bit of C4. So, what do you do from here? Because now you need to get in your base. Remember, for now, you live out of there because you are not getting in here either. So, what you need to do right now is we need to work on our entrance. So, you're going to place this as far in as you can again. Your dirty assholes. Right about there. Get this as high up as you can. And you place it. From there. Place your next one. And you get this as high up as you can as well. And you place it. You destroy this one because it takes three on a level surface to three platforms to get the platform to max height. So from here, you place this one again. And you see there the feet lift off the ground. Get it as high as you possibly can. And you build it. And right now, you do not need that one anymore. So 
from here what you want to do is you want to build some more platforms is wrong here all right so these benches seem to be fucking around a bit so what you need to do is make sure that this one is flush with that wall and flush with this wall so yeah you don't need to go in as deep as you can anymore right from here you need to place this one and just lower it a little bit just like one scroll of your scroll wheel and then you place that and you place the rest of them around it and that'll work just fine. Right. So you have got a nice platform right here. What you do right now is you need to build base blocks. And you need to build a lot of base blocks. So <coughs> there's mixed feelings about base blocks. Because for some reason people have this perception that it's expensive to build them. Which it is not. I mean, if you've got advanced engineering, it's one toolbox use and three scrap metal. That's nothing. I'm not counting the rags and the sand barricade. Oh, the sandbag, because the sandbag is basically rags. And the rags are rags. And there's an endless supply. I mean, get a pair of scissors, head into a town, and just kill some puppets, farm their clothes, cut it up with the scissors, and you've got a shitload of rags. Um, so this next step shouldn't really take you more than let's say three hours let's say you've got if you're two people doing this um one hour to go and get rags and two hours to build it maybe four hours um it's a bit of a grind but it is so worth it so let's get into it so the first one you are going to place where there's a little lip there and where the li there's a little lip right there so from here, you are going to use your shift. Hold your shift so it doesn't clip and you want to build it a little bit higher. See right there. A little bit higher. There you go. So you want to build that. You want to destroy that. So what you've got now is you have got a lifted block thingy. And now you just go around and you build your base blocks too high and too wide. All the way around. Only place we are going to go over the lip like this is on the two ends facing the church. Right there, right there, and right there. You will leave that lip. You will not cross over it. The reason for that is, if you're going to do that, you're going to have problems in your corners, which you don't want. So, I'm just going to get this done quick. Alright, so this is what your base is going to look like at this very moment, right now. So, what you want to do now is, you want to get yourself a way into this, because you're going to be working here. So, what you do now is... This block right here, you destroy this one. Then you place yourself some stairs. And you are good to go. Now you can place yourself a door here just to keep things on the safe side. Right, so now you have got a safe building area, or a safer building area. This is by no means safe yet. So what you want to do right now is you want to get these sand barricades as high as possible. And the reason for that is you want them to cover that window because that window will be your entrance. So... You need to build them at least another three high. But how do you do that? Because you can only build three on top of each other, as you guys know. So what you need to do 
from here it's only one row. Don't worry. So what you need to do is you place one. Then from there you just place another one a little bit higher. Because what this does is it resets your building limit. I'll show you in a second what that does. So what this means is you can go nice and high. You will be safe. So I'm going to get this done real quick. Alright guys, so we have got our sniper walls built. So this is just to prevent us from being sniped when we enter our base. So now that you've done that, you can go ahead and destroy all of these inner walls. They are just here so you don't injure yourself every time you have to go down from there to here. So I'm going to get this done quick and then we will get to the rest. Alright, so we are, we are getting closer. We're getting closer. But before you do the next part, so you can get into your base, you want to close off your base quickly. So let's get to that. Remember, these walls are not to protect you from being raided. They are just to protect you from getting shot while you're getting into and out of your base. Um, I mean, yes, they do offer defense, but your main defense is not this. Your main defense is that Troy wall right there. So don't, don't worry about doing too many of these layers, and you don't need it. Um... You've got everything you need with that Troy wall. Alright, so we have got the outer layer of our of our base done, um, which will basically be the shell. And now let's get to the last little part. Before I get to that, I just want to let all of you guys know that we will be opening a server very soon. Um, it will be a very close to vanilla experience with zero bullshit and as little rules as possible. And good active admins that aren't playing and raiding. So if you would be interested in that, um, link to the Discord will be down below we are still busy setting up the discord we are still getting sponsors for the server um but if you want to get notified as soon as that is up and running hop in the discord below because that is the first place where we will be make the notification of hey server's up and running let's get to it right now that i've put that out there next thing you want to do is you want to build your entrance so you need to get this as close to that wall as humanly possible once you've done that you want to lift it up as high as you can again so you do this little trick with your shift again get that one up there destroy the one next to it okay that didn't work it happens sometimes if it happens just try try again So let's get that going. You don't want it to clip into the other one too much. That's when it breaks. Go. Get that one up there. And this one we want three high. What happens when this is three high? And you've got that little piece of extra height that this gives you. You can use this as a entrance. And a exit. And because you build these, you cannot get sniped while you're doing this. That is your only weakness. But we can sort that out by building some more there. But that right there, that's your only issue that you've got. We have got this little spot right here, but that is because I fucked up. 
So as you will see on this side, we could clip this last layer into the church walls because our walls here were facing inside. On this side, you'll see our little walls are facing outside. So we couldn't clip it in because the, that barbed wire is in the way. So that is why it's important to have these walls clipped inside. So what happens now is you need to destroy this. And you need to build yourself two benches. You need to build yourself a bench right about here. And you need to build yourself a bench on the other side of the platform, right about here. What you need to do then is you need to place stairs. Hold shift. Let it face your entrance. Then you need to find the sweet spot. We just had it. There we go. So now you've got your sweet spot. You adjust your height. There you go. And now from here you can build a wall. Which you do. Build a wall. And now you can destroy your stairs and your benches. Now you can place one of these right about there. Come on. I think I've placed it too high. But you get the idea, don't you? There we go. Okay, so now you've got that going for you. So now you just upgrade this bad boy. No, I don't want to destroy you. Upgrade. 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 And there you go. You destroy this. And you have got yourself a nice and sturdy base. So what I would recommend is destroying these stairs as well. Like so. Yeah, fuck stairs, who needs stairs? Okay. So why you want this right here and not stairs at this point is when you destroy this right here, if you've got stairs, they can drive up to it up here with a quad or with a bike or with whatever <clears throat> and they can get up there. You do not want anybody to get up there because that is your entrance. So you want this to be your entrance. Right here, you're safe. You are surrounded by walls. Um, now the cool thing about this is you can have wardrobes in here. And then at this point, you can upgrade your walls. No. To upgrade you, to upgrade you, upgrade you, upgrade you, run around to the other side. There we go. And now let's head inside and upgrade the inner walls. Just break down this one because we can build it again quite easily. Okay, let's get upgrading. The reason I built this, I broke this one down is because we can clip it onto that stair again. So always, when you're building inside, keep in mind where you can clip something before you destroy it.
Right, so what have we got here? We have got a base that takes nine C4s to get into from the door. We have got a wall outside the door that takes 24 C4s to get into. That brings us to 34 C4s. Uh, 33 C4s. And then we've got our entrance right here, which is safe. There we go. But let's destroy this platform. You don't want anything up here that they can use to jump up there. Not a table, not a platform, not a wardrobe. You use these wardrobes right here for your stuff you need to build your platform. That's it. If you want. And at this point, I will leave you be. You will right now be able to build yourself some more doors. Maybe coming out this way. And a car garage here somewhere. It's your choice. It is completely up to you. Um, what you do next is your call. Um, something I would recommend. Again, if you haven't seen this before. If you don't know what I mean by it. Go watch the previous video. Link up. up I almost said upstairs. So right here you can still lob nades through. So to block this off you use walls. And you build them like so. Because when you upgrade them, they are high enough to block off the whole window. So you just cover the wall with a bunch of little pieces like so. And you upgrade them to level 4. I'm just going to show you. Why not do this one? Right, so that is what you want. That whole window is blocked off, so you can't have nades lobbed through. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all of the windows. And then I will do a bit of a tour, which I'm going to do in the beginning of the video. Just to show everyone what it looks like. And yeah, that is me out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helped someone. Um, it is a lot cheaper than it seems because those sand barricades, which, which is most of the physical work in the base, it's going to take you the longest to do that. They are super cheap to build. A um, bit tedious, but super, super cheap. If you did like this video, if you do like these kinds of video, please consider dropping a sub there. Maybe a like on the video. Um, previous video did very, very well. I'm very pleased. Thank you guys so much. You are absolutely legendary. But until the next video, back out. Cheers.